hey everybody it's sandra welcome back to the channel welcome back to sandra said what today we are going to get into this beautiful makeup look that i'm absolutely in love with so without further ado let's get into it So if you are new here, we welcome you with open arms and open heart. And if you are a returning subscriber, one of my day ones, thank you for continuing to rock with me. So we're going to get into this look that I was trying, okay? So makeup is all about experimenting and it's about exploring. Although I don't do my makeup all the time, when I do it, I try to find new ways, innovative ways to see what I can do to improve and how to get a different look and this was one of those um one of those what do you call it one of those experiences i guess so i was doing my makeup before this look you're seeing now as you can see i've already prepped my eyebrows um all i did was a little bit of liner towards the end eyebrow pencil towards the end of my eyebrows and i just conceal it that's all that is so i was um actually doing my makeup i was midway through my makeup and i realized oh snap you forgot your foundation so what i did was i just went over my makeup look which at the time i only had blush and um what do you call it um brrr, the words is escaping me my gosh i hate doing this on the spot you know and we're going to talk about this concealer which is actually too bright for me um yeah um the contour and it was i forgot to put my foundation on so i just went over them with my foundation and i actually liked how it came out it looked more tamed because it was looking like more natural like it was coming from under the foundation it wasn't something placed on top of it okay so then i liked it so i was like okay let me see if i can replicate that with all the steps so i've been doing my makeup in different ways i do have another video that i will try to edit for you guys soon and put it up here I have another video where I do my makeup different with different steps because now you know it's about exploring again and different people have their makeups with different steps I know I look crazy but don't mind me I'm it's gonna come together so yeah I was like okay so what if I do the same thing you know just basically go backwards with everything and then just add foundation to it to see what it looks like so I started with the um, concealer and then i went with the blush but the way i do my makeup now not in this order i've been doing it in a different order actually this is my fi first time trying this order so the way i do my makeup now is that i actually do my blush before i do my concealer because then it looks more natural so that's what i was doing so i did my concealer i did my blush and I, right now i'm doing the contour part of it i'm thinking about i need to get you know i see the girls use you know the contour sticks i've never used one and i'm thinking i might try one just to see what it gives i'm kind of honestly not sure how i want to use um liquid contour because i've used it before and it's not panned out well for me so i've kind of left it alone so pretty much that's what i'm doing just you know i'm highlighting my face and contouring and adding blush before i go with that foundation and then i'm going to put foundation all over it again as you can see my eyebrows are already done so now that i've done that i'm going to go in with my foundation and just layer it all over it and see how that comes out so i'm meticulously applying my foundation because i don't want to be too messy with it and then of course you spray between every step this is crucial when you're doing your makeup so as you can see i'm going over it and i'm just going to be honest with you right now i don't know that it made a difference when i was actually doing it so i just went ahead and continued my face from the beginning but looking back on it on the camera you can kind of see the the contour and you can kind of see the highlights so i think i'm going to try this look again or uh, this method again but i'm just going to try it differently and again looking on the camera i feel like using the products that i'm using like my highlight 
it looks a lot lighter than it actually is but it's really not that light and what i'm finding is okay so as you guys know i don't know if you're new here but i do create a lot of content for instagram and tiktok although i do feel that those concealers are a bit brighter than i would like them to be um and i think i'm gonna get some concealer that's much much closer to my skin tone the thing is i like a bright under eye so i can always you know brighten my under eyes with those concealers but i feel like i want to get back to something that looks more closely to my skin tone and that's going to look more natural so yeah as i was saying i do create a lot of content for tiktok instagram um and all the likes and youtube here and what i'm finding is when i'm filming and i'm doing a lot of brand collaborations right now so what i'm finding is because of this new method that i'm doing which i've never done before is you know it's just me experimenting with different methods of you know going under the eye with you're gonna see this here with um the setting powders and i'm finding the setting powders that i am using i'm not sure how i feel about them we're gonna get into that a little bit later but yeah so pretty much after i didn't see a difference i just went ahead and continued doing my face as i normally would but looking back again on the camera i do see where my face was kind of contoured so i think what i would have done differently is probably i would have gone a little bit more with the contour on top of it just to kind of reinforce it and i wouldn't have to redo my whole face as if i'm starting from the beginning like i told you guys um i'm on my makeup journey i am always trying to look for new methods what works for me well you know i do watch a lot of the content creators of course but it's like okay what works for you and how can you modify that for you and honestly in real life my makeup does look it it'd be eating okay i'm just going to try because now i have to be more conscious of the fact that i'm fil i mean i've always been filming for social media but more recent now than ever um i am doing a lot more brand collaborations so i have to make sure i'm trying to get my content to look top notch because i want to deliver quality products i want my camera images to be sharp and crisp and clear and i don't have any flashbacks but you know me when i do my makeup of course i do take pictures and you can always adjust the lighting in pictures much easier than you can do and when you're filming a video a video is pretty much you have to make sure you get the best quality from the get-go because otherwise it's going to be a struggle to edit later on but again we did pull this look together and in real 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 life this look definitely slaps and it doesn't look so bad on camera either but you know i'm just trying to avoid that flashback of looking like ghostly or looking unnatural or you know this happens to a lot of people even celebrities sometimes you know the camera is just shows everything and it picks up things you didn't even know was there so again just being conscientious of the fact that you are not just filming for real life but you also have a device that is designed to pick up all the little things all the little details that you are not even seeing with your eyes or may not even be that prominent when you're looking when you're looking at it or other people are looking at it but anyway so now we're down to the lips my eyeliner i will show you guys how i do that another time but i feel like my eyeliner is not done yet right now it was so sharp and crisp and clear i was absolutely in love with it and with, for this lip combo all i did was outline my lips with the brown pencil then i go ahead with a little bit of concealer in the middle and then work that with my finger and put a little bit of lip gloss on it and i'm telling you i think this might be one of my favorite looks to date i think this is either my favorite or my second favorite look that i've ever done so here we are this is the look like i said i absolutely did love this look i wish it looked as great in person as it did on camera but again this is about exploring this is about 
um, discovering things. This is about learning. It's a process. It's a journey. And you guys are here with me to, um, you know, follow my journey. And one day I look forward to the day when y'all say, oh my gosh, I remember when you were struggling with X, Y, Z. Look at you now. You know, you do it so flawlessly, so easily. And that's where I'm trying to get with it. Anyway, so yeah, that is the look. It, it's eating. And make sure, if you guys are not, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. If you're on those um, social media platforms, I would greatly appreciate it because we're always trying to grow. We're trying to get ourselves out there so we can get more brand deals and get more opportunities and keep growing as a community not just here on youtube but also on other social media platforms so yeah this is the full look no adjustments were made to it i wanted it to be raw and in real 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 life no filter again i'm showing you guys my glueless wig um i, I pulled off a bit of hair in the front I don't know if y'all could tell but if y'all couldn't tell but now you can because I brought your attention to it but yeah um I wanted the you know the look to just be raw and truly what makeup looks like in real life and not that you know I just always want to show you guys oh though this is me this is everything um you know everybody else is not doing because I do know you know even the best um photographer I mean MUAs they use filters not just filters you know they'll use better lighting and that makes sense you know you want your work to look as best as possible and I understand that but for me this is real life and again this look really ate in real life it was giving everything it was supposed to give and wanted to show you again <laughs> my ghoulist wig that you can check out you can check out the video for um, you just move it to the side and you can change the look. It is from SSW Merch, SSWMerch.com. It's a water weight, water wet, water wave <laughs> wig. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, let me know how you like this video. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you would let um, leave me a comment to help me get into the algorithm. Let YouTube know that I am here. I am working hard. I've been putting out the content. I've been doing it, doing it, doing it. Um, yeah, and again, I appreciate you all for being here. Let me know. What do you guys think of the look? Do you guys agree with me um, that it would look ashy? Because I feel like... I was so I filmed this video for this product and I felt like my face was looking so ashy and you know and I'm like I that's not what I want to present to these brands but you know maybe I'm being too harsh maybe you know I'm not being hard enough you guys let me know your thoughts and I'm sure y'all will and I will talk to you all later bye thanks for watching